this sh like store has interested me. They sell old um, sculptures and things and I've passed it a million times and they never open and today they're open so let's see what they have. Brick and brack and nick and that <laughs> famous. Very nice people from Norway. I think they gave you the biggest one available. Chateau. Nice. Curtis, nice. That's not a chateau, that's a villa. No, it's a chateau. Curtis. No, it's a villa. <laughs> Owen, oh, this is the view. Do you like Lynn, Amelia? Mm. <laughs> My name is Curtis Ryan Woodside. I'm a filmmaker and Egyptologist. After a year and a half of waiting to get back, last year I started to make my move to Italy permanent. I have visited Tuscany a couple of times before, but this time it's a little different. Now it's about settling in. So come with me on my adventures in Italy and beyond as I capture a video diary of my life and see what myself, Filippo, our family and friends get up to every week. I have stopped here with Dawi. Um, say hi, Dawi. Hello, good morning, buongiorno, buongiorno. <laughs> this sh like store has interested me. They sell old um, sculptures and things, and I've passed it a million times, and they're never open. And today they're open, so let's see what they have. Oh, all the vintage bikes. Wish I had one like that with a little, you know, little pouch on the back. Oh yeah, what do you put in the pouch? A little spanner, a pun <laughs> puncture repair kit. Self-defense? Self-defense. I go <laughs> North Wales. <laughs> but oh. what caught my eye was this copper pot, but... Let's hear. No, no I'll just add in a sound effect. <laughs> Look at this old chandelier. It's an old chandelier here with some really interesting ceramic work. Passed a few times, but never... Never come in? Everything's Dolce & Gabbana here, look. Oh yeah, so we're at the Dolce & Gabbana store. <laughs> got it, got it. I like the new look for Dolce. Have you seen? Look at this coffee table, Dowie. Here. You don't, you don't like that. Mm, huh? In the right house, but. Okay. Interesting. What's also interested me is this beautiful lady over here. Yeah. Egyptian. No. Um, but a statue of her was found in the Bay of Alexandria under the, under the water. Really? Yep. I have a very beautiful picture of a diver coming into contact with her in Alexandria. Yeah. And then of course we have David. A bit smaller than the one in the uh, um, Academia. Just a bit, just a bit smaller. You know the one. You know the one in the Piazzale. That's well, the fake one. Yeah. Everybody's. Well, not everybody. Quite a few think it's that's, that's an original. Exactly. Imagine if it was. <laughs> no, this is a very good David. Really? Yeah. Well, you know more about sculptures than anything. I'd love to have. Imagine these two. Two Davids here. Well. Dowie. Oh, Dowie. Yeah. No, Dowie. Dowie. You've got to get the Welsh right. Imagine these two in the garden. We don't have a huge garden, but imagine. Yeah. I'd love that. Ah, uh, Oh. Well, have you seen the back of David, Dowie? He yeah. has, you can see the slingshot really well. Yeah, usually you can't see that. Really, because it's. Yeah. Well, I can't say I've looked at the back of David much. No, but the back of the Gianni Sessanta. Patina Bono. Poca, but I see. See, see, quantani. Okay, so there's more inside, Dowie. Yes. I have found... Oh, Baywatch. Baywatch. <laughs> oh. oh my <laughs> god. It's a blast from the past. That's, more mo that's worth more money than the David. It is worth more money than the David, could you imagine? <laughs> and it's, it's a yeah. whole pinball machine. I, I, yeah. I no, the, the big wooden thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Antique Vin fan. Vintage. Marelli. It's a uh, <laughs> lovely colour. Yeah, yeah, that's like Marelli. pale green. I could do with that now, Curtis. What's it? What's the degrees today? Uh, Troppo. Twenty-five. We're actually we're twenty degrees less than yesterday. It's very chupa chup. Interesting things. Oh, look at all the vintage tins. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, all the Curtis. Tins. Little cigarette packets. The Chris Mints. Oops. Whoops. Watch out for the I, cherub. Yeah, the putty. On oh, Tom's okay. new bike. <laughs> oh, Curtis, fisherman friend. Oh my goodness, yeah. God, when you eat those, your whole head explodes. They're so, so strong. Horrible. I like them. Do you? Yeah. I love Egg that. Egg and sandwich. It's a Greek-inspired, like, uh, confectionery jar. What's this for? Also, uh, that bed bed warmer. What? Yeah. So you put the coals in there. You put that in your bed. What's the handle then? To spin it to keep it rotated, so you you keep it warm. Really? Yeah. Bed warmer. Like a hot, like a hard hot water bottle. Yeah. Could you imagine having those in your bed? How nice your bed would have smelled of nice cold. And lovely, comfortable, soft. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Imagine rolling over and hitting uh, your leg on that. My echo. Oh, echo. Wow. Echo. Oh my God. It's like something out of Stranger Things. <laughs> Before Baywatch. Before Baywatch. <laughs> Park. Me. I can imagine Pamela Anderson oh, running down the... It's a bomb. Me. Oh my God. <laughs> What's in there? Yeah. Ah, uh, that is beautiful. You know, I love my Sicilian pottery. I love that. So milk. Milk jug, orange juice. Chianti. Chianti, anything you want. Oh my goodness, I've just seen the ugliest thing in the world. Me. No, <laughs> look at that. It's an eggplant jug. Yeah. Have you seen what goes, huh? Oh my goodness, you have Amelia. Oh, it's a tattoo. <laughs> Wow. I can wait a bit. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, yeah. How about this Annabelle doll? Oh, gosh. There's something a bit sad about that. It's a bit creepy about that, too. Creepy and sad. Ooh. Hey, I don't know. Huh? Yeah. Time has stood still for her. Yeah, non toccare. No, I'm not touching her. <laughs> non toccare. <clears throat> Interesting poster. Geppetto. Centenario di Pinocchio. Yeah. Never seen Geppetto depicted like that. It's a little. Yeah. Also, there's some vintage pieces here. It's <coughs> quite interesting. Yeah. <gasps> Dowie, I finally won an Oscar. Well, you deserve it. Yeah. For that last vlog you did with me. Uh, exactly. Exactly. We share it. Eccolo, Curtis. Thank you. <laughs> Closest I'll ever get. A marionette doll of a of a soldier here, like a mm -hmm. like a knight. Mm -hmm. More Sicilian things as well. I love the Sicilian stuff. This big chicken's really doing it for me. Do you remember the Twinkle Twinkle? Oh no, yet before your time. Twinkle Twinkle. Yeah, no? it, was, it was a series for children. Yeah. And this this um, little. Nasty little person living under the bridge. That remind. Oh that, yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. It reminds it you of really him. It does. Interesting looking guy. What's a Cora in Welsh? Did you know that um, with the ancient Greeks, Dowie, hmm? when you wanted to basically propose to someone or give them a sign of your affection, you would give them a male chicken. Oh. Yeah. You would give them a male chicken, and that would be a, a sign that you are now together. Yeah, really? Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that until a few weeks ago. <laughs> I didn't know that until today. So when you see a chicken, think about it differently. So you should give Linda a chicken. Hello. Such interesting things here. Here at Dolce & Gabbana, there's such interesting things, Dowie. 
Andiamo Menia! Andiamo! Hmm. I love this the scene here. Well, I don't like cherubs, but I actually like this scene, Dowie. It's quite pretty. Yeah. Well, these chairs look nicer than yachts. Yeah, just give them a little bit of a sand down. No, they that. could look yeah. nice at your place. Don't want the cats. Don't want the cats. Do you want a little uh, Snow White over there? No. No? Well, she can stay where she is. She'll stay where she is. She'll probably haunt it. She's pretty. Indian statue, mm. Hindu statue. Yeah. Very detailed. It's actually a very good copy, I would say. Good replica. Yeah. Remember this, Dowie? Yeah. When we went to the Egyptian Museum in Florence? Yes. Outside on the building, yeah. there's this decoration of like a mummified child. Oh, on the way, on, on in the piazza. Before yeah, you yeah. Went in. Before you get in. This is basically a copy of that. Serious? Yeah. Strange. I still don't know the meaning of this mummified child. Half mummified look. Yeah, it's very weird. Imagine this and this could be nice in your garden. Little table with a little covering. You could plant some vines. Not enough rust on it. <laughs> no, but you put some vines, it'll be nice. Oh yeah, just cover the whole thing. Yeah. Little love nest for you and Linda. Mm. In amongst all of this stuff, mm. Can you believe I found an Egyptian piece? Oh my gosh, no. I'm going to try and find it now. It's staring at you in the face. In the face? <laughs> I can't see it. If we go closer. I found it. Oh, over here. Little Sphinx. Oh. He's cute. You like that? He's very cute. I like the Sphinx. I like the flamingo too. Yeah. Eh? Flamingo's gorgeous, yeah. Just a pity oh. that the, the tail is on the wrong side of the Sphinx. It should be on the other side. Really? But for like a Roman Ptolemaic Sphinx, he's quite, quite good at looking. This frieze down here as well, the Roman Greek soldier. Actually, I think it's Hercules. Mm. Yeah. And your favorite. All right, I think I'm, if I can lift this up, I'm going to take it. I think he has to stay, Dowie. Dead oh. weight, huh? Yeah? Oh, God. There's no way I can take that. It weighs a ton. Shame. Oh. He could deliver it to us. He could deliver it. Yeah, gotta go on there. I'm gonna ask him the price actually. Where's he gone? I need a Sphinx at home. I think Filippo and I would be very happy with a Sphinx at home. Really? So we could have the Greek lady, David, and a Sphinx in the middle. I'm not buying David. <laughs> Thousand pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I want the Sphinx. Let me go ask. I used to have one of these, Dowie, when I was a kid. It's, it, yeah, it's a metal one. Yeah. And it's a, a farm tractor. Farm just, mini tractor, Just yes. to remind you. <laughs> my goodness. Oh. Yeah, I used to have one. It was my dad's and he gave it to me and then, I don't know, we got rid of it somewhere. Yeah, a bit too big for it now, Chris. A bit too big for it yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah, I can see that. The appeal. I can see the appeal. This is like a mini greenhouse. Yeah. And you can close the window. Or the roof, rather. Yeah. Lovely for a little pomodoros. Or lemon, lemon tree. Oh, a stand. Lemon tree. Come oh, on, oh, Come on, oh, oh, Conservatorio. Si. Puoi mettere anche una candela. Puoi mettere le piantine grasse. I found this thing with a serpent and this, but I don't know what it is. How about the 60s pram for Megan? And she has the baby. I've never seen one, no. Yeah, and it's really weird and interesting. Very 60s. 
Like if James Bond had a child, it would be in that. <laughs> Imagine Sean Connery pushing that around, Dowie. 006. <laughs> So I have just found a 2,000 year old Greek amphora, it had two handles at one stage, I've just found it and comes on a stand, it's really beautiful, I would love to have this in my collection and the guys told me I can take it for 10 euros but I don't have cash and he doesn't take cards so I have to put you back and I will come back maybe tomorrow and get it. We have met up with two very nice people from very nice people from Norway. So we have Owen and Lynn. And Dawi is taking us up to Valambrosa and Saltino. So different world up here. Yeah, yeah. Eight degrees different. Oh it's eight. much cooler. Yeah, you can feel it now, can't you? So yeah. is it your first time to Tuscany guys? Very first time, yes. Very first time. Yes. Okay. So hopefully we'll show you some nice places. We've gone down to 22 degrees now, look. So oh, yeah. you can see why so many Florentines come up here in the, in the summer. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Are you enjoying your ice cream? Really good. I think, they gave, I think they gave you the biggest one available. Yeah. Oh. That's how we like it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you guys doing? <laughs> this is this is snus. This is a Norwegian uh, or Swedish, you, really. You forced Tom to try it. Yes, Tom is trying it. Yeah, he's staying there now. Yeah, good. So it's little packets of cocaine. No, ni nicotine, <laughs> not cocaine. <laughs> Luckily, very common in Scandinavia. Uh, more common than smoking. Hmm? Alternative to smoking. Yeah. Little little nicotine pouches. Stick it under your lip and you leave it there. For how long? Five, five ten, fifteen minutes. Okay. He's gonna be, he's really gonna, he's gonna be, he's gonna be shorter than that. He's gonna be shorter. Okay. Don't um, yeah, don't push it if you get woozy. I thought I thought you were sticking gum smoking, under, yeah, under your mouth. Yeah. Do you feel feel a bit sick to get off to him? I think it's mentally, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was gum. Yeah, no. <laughs> You do it as well? Yeah, sometimes. Oh my god. If you try and like maybe it's up here than your mouth. Like dumb than gum. What do you think? What? what do you maybe mean? it's more dumb than, than gum. gum. I know. Yeah. I don't know if I trust this compared to smoking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, take it out. Really? Yeah, take it out. If you push it, you're gonna get nauseous. <laughs> you feel a bit funny too? Yeah, it's kind of a bit busy. Yeah. I don't know. Put it here. What's yours? Still in there. So, <laughs> so you've yeah, started yeah. this is, because you stopped smoking? Switch. No, it's uh, an alternative to smoking. Yeah. It's okay. a completely different product. You can... Okay. Yeah, choose. Uh, when? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Amelia like wants it. to go. Yeah, she no. just told me. You want to yeah, try? Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, you will get This is like me. This is a... So we're taking you guys now to see a really nice like outlook um, over the valleys here. It was my idea. Uh, yeah, Tom's idea. <laughs> stolen <laughs> from <laughs> stolen from me, but anyway. Um, so I'm really interested to see what you think yeah. since you guys have not really been to Tuscany before. Mm -hmm. Chateau. Be nice. it's a chateau. That's not a chateau, that's a villa. No, it's a chateau. Curtis. No, it's a villa. <laughs> Owen, this is the view. Pretty good view. Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so. It is. It's really old, like I said. Almost a thousand years old. <laughs> so I want to show you guys the little church and the courtyard here. 
So this would be um, a shrine dedicated to San Giovanni. We're showing you around. Yeah, we're showing you around. <laughs> so, let me tell you something interesting. You see, um, at the top of the little house, at the top of the, oh, what do you call that? Where the roof yeah, should be, there's like a little um, flower. Yeah. So that little flower is the symbol for St. Francis. Yeah. It's six so, leaves. Yeah. Okay. And how old is this? Um, about a thousand years old, from eleven hundred. It looks new, like. It does look new. They've done a very good job in keeping it looking good. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know what this is. Chapel. Must be a chapel. Yeah. Here. I don't think we can see inside. No, we can't see inside. Amelia, you have a new friend. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> oh, do you like Lynn, Amelia? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Keep doing that. She'll want you to take her home. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I would like to give a big thank you to my patrons for not only supporting my Egyptology work, but my filmmaking in general. And thank you to all of you for watching and supporting my videos.